Hi everyone! In this video, we'll be going over how to configure a common transition in a Blueprint process. A transition that can be executed from all or specific stages in a Blueprint process is called a common transition. For example, in an order to delivery process, the user should be able to cancel the order when it's in the ordered, processed, or shipped stage, but not after completing the delivery stage. Let's see how to configure a parallel transition that fits this requirement. Here we have a blueprint configured for the order to delivery process. Currently, the transition cancel order is associated only with the order stage, but then the user should also be able to cancel from the processed and shipped stage. To achieve this requirement, mouse over the transition you want to add for multiple stages and click the flowchart icon. Then enable the common transition. When a transition is made common, every stage of the blueprint will pass through it by default. You can restrict these stages by choosing only the required ones from the dropdown. In this case, let's disable the delivered stage and hit Save Blueprint. Now a user can cancel the order when it's in the ordered, processed, and shipped stages, but not after delivery. In the UI, common transitions will have a green background and the states it relates to will be connected by green arrows. Let's access the application and access the orders report. We have four orders here. The first three orders on the ordered, shipped, and processed stage contain the cancel order transition, whereas the last one does not have it because the shipment has already been delivered to the customer. That's the logic we defined earlier during the configuration. And that's about it for common transitions. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.